Lisa and welcome back to my channel. So today guys, it is that time again. It is the end of the month. So I think today is either the 29th or the 30th. I'm not really sure what day it even is, but I know we're towards the end. So with that being said, it is time for the monthly makeup roundup. And first off, before I even get into that, I want to go ahead and hit our monthly spotlight. So this month is going to go to Sarah Silhouettes. Um, she is new to me on Instagram and YouTube, but she is a beautiful little girl and she's very young. I don't really know how old she is, but I do know that she's young. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere between 17 and 20. Um, but she uh, is uh, fairly new to me, like I said, and she, she keeps a lot of tallies. Um, on Instagram of what makeup she has. She shares that list with you, does product shots. And then on her YouTube channel, of course, she does makeup looks. Um, and I'll post a picture of her up here. She does um, really good, attainable, pretty looks. And I think that's very important to spotlight people that do those attainable looks like, I, like I, what I do. Instead of all those uh, 14 cut creases and all of that, that stuff is fun, and it's nice, and I'm not saying anything bad about it. And sometimes I do those looks. But people that do always those looks, it's not really obtainable. And if you do obtain it, it's not wearable to go out and wear in 14 cut creases. And, I mean, if you are doing that, and that, that is fine. But on the day-to-day, -day, you know, people can't go to work usually wearing that type of makeup or what have you. So, um, I also like to spotlight just, um, regular makeup wearing, um, faces along with the bright, the bold, the, um, eccentric, because I love all of it. I, I, I just love makeup in all, in, you know, in general. But, um, uh, I will say that, uh, Sarah has a trach. Um, so don't let that shock you when you go over there. Some people that have never seen one, maybe. Um, she does have a video going over why she has the trach and what's going on there. Um, and that was one thing that really spoke to me um, whenever I run across her was the fact that she has the trach. And, you know, I'm, I'm only being honest and transparent here. And that's because I've had a trach and I know, I know what it's like to live with a trach. And, um, I will have another trach before it's over with when I go to have my upper airway reconstruction done. I will have to live with a trach for a week or two during that, um, situation. So, you guys may see me on here, depending on how I feel in between surgeries, you may see me on here with a trach. Um, I don't know if you have noticed or not, but I do have a scar and, um, it's pretty massive. That's usually not what a trach scar looks like. But that's what mine looks like because my trach was messed up. And that's why I have to have an upper airway re reconstruction. My trachea is about the size of an infant. So if you can imagine breathing through a tube the size of a drinking straw, that's the only airway that I have because my um, trachea was shrunk and it collapses too. So sometimes it like if you were to just pinch a straw, you're breathing through it and you just pinch it. So, mine collapses from time to time. That's why I have to get it fixed. So, they will widen it and um, brace it with a structure of some kind to keep it from um, collapsing. Or, they will just cut that section out altogether if they can. But, that's enough of me. Back to Sarah. But, that's what spoke to me about her is because I've been where she is. Um, I know the struggle with that. She seems to be very okay with it, very open with it, and I'm so glad. But she is so beautiful, and I would love for you guys to go over and check her channel out. She's very small, um, which, I mean, I'm small myself, but um, she is she's she's very, very small uh, channel. So I would love to help her out, and you guys go over there and share some of the love that you have showed me, um, because I swear I've got some of the best subscribers in the world you guys are just amazing and, and i love all of you guys so um just thank you <laughs> and go show her some love okay so now we're going to move on to 
the addition of the new uh, giveaway for this month. I'm almost at 500. I'm not quite there, but I'm almost there. So I have another palette to add to the mix. I picked this up on Black Friday. I picked one up for me and I picked one up for the giveaway. So I'm going to be adding in the Strawberry Milkshake Palette from Alien Cosmetics, now known as an Earthly Cosmetics. And if you have not seen this palette before, I will open it up. Mine is packed up in a crate where I just got through doing my palette declutter. So, but I will show you this one. I will not touch any of the shades, but this is what it looks like. It is that beautiful formula that we're all used to. If you have used any of their palettes, and if you have not, you are in for a treat if you win this giveaway. So this is going into the giveaway pile. So we've got Melt Makeup. We've got Alien Cosmetics. Alien Cosmetics has eyeshadow and lips. We have BH Cosmetics in there. We have all kinds of goodies in that giveaway. So all I'm waiting on is to get to 500, guys. 500. So, that's going in the box. Now, for my monthly roundup, let's see what we have in store. What all have I tried this month? My basket doesn't look that full, but I swear I feel like I tried a lot this month. So, um, the first thing I tried is the Sephora uh, Spray Foundation. It's the Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I got mine in the shade Fair. They only have like four or five different shades in this, which is bad. Um, I wish they would expand this line because this is such a pretty foundation. That is it right there. It just goes on and it looks like my skin. I wish that they would expand it because it is beautiful. And it alone, where I sprayed it, it like, I don't know how, but it, it hides your pores. It's... I recommend this. It's $20. If if you can find your shade or mix a couple of shades together to get your shade, go pick this up. It is beautiful. I'm already contemplating a second can because I don't want to be without that. It's so good. Another foundation I tried this month is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I'm in um, 10 Larkmont. Shade, I like this. It's what I have on today. It ends up looking beautiful on my skin, but I do have to pile it on. And then I also have to go in with extra concealer in places that I have redness. And I normally don't have to do that, like with the Fenty uh, Ease Drops that everybody complained about being so thin, and they are thin, but it still gives me more coverage than this. I do like this because I love the way my skin looks with it on and my skin wears it well, but be forewarned, it is thin. So if you like a full coverage beat, this is not going to give it to you. But if you like a more light skin tint type of foundation, then you're going to love this. I have found that I love more lighter coverage foundations or if I go in with a heavier coverage I use less of it and it's because of my aging skin you know I have wrinkles I've got wrinkles around my lips where I smoked for so long my smile lines are massive I've got wrinkles right here again that's from smoking but my foundation if I wear a lot will fall into those cracks and I don't like that so the lighter my foundation can be the better it looks on my skin so, I like the skin tints, but just be forewarned, you'll have to use a little bit more with this one. Um, going on with the skin, I tried this by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder um, Acid. Uh, acid. Woo! No, I ain't putting acid on my face. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Hyd Hydra Powder from by Terry. I have been wanting to try this forever, but it was so expensive. And uh, Leanne, uh, a friend of mine here on YouTube, I will put her channel down in the description bar. She had got this and did not like it. And she knew that I had wanted to try it. So bless her heart, she sent it to me. 
And I freaking love this powder. It feels so cooling when it goes on. And it just goes into nothing on my face. And my face just looks so set and blurred. I love this. So, Liana, thank you so much for my little Prezi. I love it. And thank you, thank you. She is a doll. You guys, make sure you go and see her if you uh, haven't checked her channel out. She's so funny. The next thing that I tried out was the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Spiced Cinnamon. If you remember, I picked this up. I picked one of them up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And then I ended up going back and getting the other one whenever I had 20% off or something. So, this is it. This is so beautiful. I'm so glad that I added these to my collection. I do not think they're worth the full price tag of what's on these whenever they're not on sale. But if you can get these when they're on sale, grab them up because they're beautiful. The next thing is something else I bought during the 21 Days of Beauty. This is the Shape Tape Glow Powders in Sunlit. Um, I bought this to be used as a uh, setting powder. But this month, I actually used it as a really light highlight, which you can do that as well. So, um, I can tell you that it is pretty for that. But my main reason to buy this was for a, uh, I said setting powder, a finishing powder. So, I cannot attest to how that works yet because I haven't used it in that capacity yet. But it was pretty for a very faint highlight. Let's see if I can get these pencil products out of here before they fall through my cracks here. I have the Makeup Geek pencil in brown. These are so good. And I have the Makeup Geek pencil in nude. That's them right there. These are so nice. They stay in the waterline all day. I got these on a Black Friday sale, so I think they were just a couple of dollars. I got several colors. I might have got all their colors, but I love these. This is the Lottie London Arch Rival Brow Artist Pencil in the shade Brown. I got this in my Walmart box, and it has a spoolie on one end, and it is a tiny, tiny, tiny pencil. It's what I'm wearing in my brows today. I think it's a good color, and I love how small it is. You can get your hairs drawn on that looks like real hair. I love that. Um, Let's see. Right on top here, I've got these few little mini products here. They're not all minis, but they're small. I've got this Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. I might have got this in a boxy charm. I'm not sure. It's meh. It's okay. If you just have to have a tubing mascara, it does tube. But as far as what it does for my lashes alone, I don't like it. But in conjunction with another kind is fine. It's just got a natural bristle wand on it. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I'm going to use it because I've got it. Um, the lipstick that I'm wearing today is Bear by Kaleidos. I love this clay formula. It's so comfortable. And I'm working my way through because I bought the Apple Collection and I had the um, collection before that. So I had four cases of their lipsticks and I'm slowly but surely working my way through trying all of them. Um, this is what's on my eyes today. It's the Fall Magic Palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Of course, that one shade right there came busted, but I was able to press it back in. These shadows are so buttery. The mattes are. They're so easy to work with. Beautiful palette. And Earthly Cosmetics done an amazing job. The next palette that I used for this month was the Melt Mariposa, Amore Mariposa palette. This is a beautiful palette. The formula is so good in every single shade. I do have my qualms about this, though. You've heard me say before, the pan size is tiny. You can see the comparison to my finger right there. If I was not a melt stan and just had to do, you know, get the palette, or if I did not have a YouTube channel, I would have saved my money and duped this palette out with singles or something. Um, because I don't think that it's worth the $80. Or maybe I just didn't want to spend the $80 on it. I don't know. 
it's heavy um and you can tell that a lot of work went into the packaging there's just something about the price that's not settling right in my stomach and normally with melt i don't have a problem with whatever i pay but for this one i am and so you know my suggestions are if you're not a big melt stand and you don't feel like you have to have it because it's melt just dupe it out and save the 80 bucks I don't think the formula, the formula is good, but I don't think it is unique enough that you have to have it. So that's my opinion. This is the BH Cosmetics Cherry on Top Sweet Shop Palette. I loved this. I tried it for the first time this month. It gave me a beautiful smoky red eye look. I love it. The formula in these are so stinking good. Um, Here's one that's been around for a long time. And I just tried it this time, to this month. And that is the Nudes of New York um, from Maybelline. And I have to say that I'm pretty impressed so far with what I have used out of this. So I'm going to continue using that and uh, being excited that I've got a good drugstore uh, neutral palette. Then I also uh, done a collaboration using this Vive palette that I have. So good. I couldn't have asked for anything better. It is stunning. With that, I also tried the Vive Skin Nova. I just got a sample for free for, for my order. I will be getting a big size of this. It makes my skin feel so wonderful. Now, I also got a Vive blush, and I got mine in the shade Pesca. I want to go back and get more shades. These are just gorgeous. I also tried out the Squaw Lips in the shade Glitter from AOA. This was so nice. You can see that little bit of glitter. You don't feel the glitter on your lips. It just gives you just that sheen that you're looking for, and I love that. I tried the Rare Beauty Mascara, and I love it. I'm going to be getting a full size. I was so shocked at how much. I loved this mascara, actually, but I will be getting the full size of that. Next, I tried the Fenty Beauty Liquid Kilowatt. Um, mine is in the shade Vintage. I went for the rose gold shade. Oh, I didn't mean to squirt that much out. While it is pretty, I have to say, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> And you know I'm a stand for Fenty products. I love Fenty. I think it could have been more. I am so unimpressed with just how ugh that is. That's all over my hand right there. And it's like, I don't know if any of the other ones are going to be any better if I need to try a different color. But, I mean, usually pinks are pretty blinding. I mean, I'm barely seeing anything. I could actually put this on under my foundation. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it, but I wouldn't waste your money on it. Next is a Nomad palette, and it's the home for the holidays. I freaking love this palette. It's so beautiful. This matte black is amazing. I do not know what these people done. Look at that. Look at that. And it's still. It is the most amazing matte black ever. If they done all of their mattes in that formula. Whew, look out everybody else. Because Nomad would kill it. Which they're killing it now. But that black is amazing. Um, two more palettes that I tried is the Chromazone from She Glam. I've already put a video out on it, and I used this one. You can see that multi-chrome right there. Um, these are pretty. For $5, I recommend them. Um, it was either 5 or 10 Either way, I recommend them. They are really nice. And um, I was shocked, but you can check that video out. Uh, but I'm glad I got those. Along with that, I also got these eyeliners that are um, 
multi-chromes. And I can tell you that when you swatch these suckers, they don't want to go nowhere. I had to use a oil-based eye makeup remover before it would come off. You can see that right there. Green, and then it shifts. I got all three of these. This one is the one that I've used so far. I also tried um, the True Skin from Catrice Hydrating Foundation. Mine's in the Natural Ivy or Ivory. I'm going to try this some more, but I'm not too impressed with this. I don't like the way it laid on my skin. I don't like the way it looked. So I am going to try this a little bit more to see um, if I can use less of it or whatever. But as of right now, I'm not a stand on this like everybody else was. I don't know. I also got the Natasha Denona Mini Biba Palette. It looks like that. This was so beautiful. And I also got the Mini Rose Cheek Duo Palette. Or, yeah, palette. And again, this highlight, man. Natasha did not do us wrong. She knows her highlights. And I love them you can see it shining right there so i'm so glad to have that also from she glam i picked up the um blush in slay this is a metallic glow blush these are so beautiful beautiful look at that stunning right there Oh, and I also picked up Devoted in the Liquid Blush, and it looks like that. Love, love, love. I will be picking up some more of these. You guys know I love the bronzer. Now for the rest of the lips that I tried out for this month that were new. So I have Sienna from Kaleidos. I have Lazy Daisy from uh, Dose of Colors. I have New New Confident in uh, from L'Oreal. I have boop -doo, from Makeup Revolution. I have the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in Icon. And I can't remember if I had tried um, Chestnut or not, uh, this Chestnut Gloss or not from Dower 28. Um, and then I remembered it was new this month. So this is what it looks like. It's very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is everything for the month. So I feel like I used a lot of makeup, but it just didn't seem like a lot in there. But I guess it was. We've been doing this for 23 minutes. But guys, um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And if you love makeup or if you love just hanging out with me, give this video a thumbs up. And guys, I will see you in my next video. But until then, God bless and I love you all.